My name is Alberto. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Serenity. Uh, what was the first time you saw an erotic film? Uh, the first time I saw an erotic film was when I was m very, very young. Uh, it was actually, I was in the parking lot of a shopping center and they used to show erotic films on the um, drive-in movie theaters and I could see like a third of the screen but it was enough to realize exactly what it was. <laughs> what did you make this film to you? What did this film, this film to you? What, what came to me? It was just interesting, you know, it was naked bodies, people having sex. It, it wasn't anything, you know, too outrageous. I wasn't shocked by it or, um, you know, I wasn't confused or anything like that. It's just I realized what it was and it was just kind of neat. I was very interested. That's all. So when did you start to do the erotic films? I started erotic films about five and a half years ago uh, for Wicked Pictures. And um, I started off with just Girl Girl, and just recently in the past year I moved on to Boy Girl with uh, my contract for Wicked Pictures. And what did this film uh, change on you in mean, doing this film? Did it help you with your own personality? Uh, no, I'm my own person, so doing the films doesn't really change my personality. Um, however, it has given me an opportunity to extend my performing arts life, if you will. Um, I've always been on the stage, and this kind of gave me something else to do, if you will. I used to be a ballerina, so the career for ballet is very short-lived. This extends that. Okay. Do you think for certain people, to see this kind of, this kind of film, mm -hmm. help them to, to approach the sexual life, to increase their view of the sexual problems? Well, it could. The, the most important thing that these films accomplish is that they give people a chance to use their imagination. It gives them a chance to enhance whatever sexual life they already have. Uh, for instance, if they are a couple, they can now share in fantasies. If they are single, they have something to spark up the imagination. You know, and, and that's the most important thing. That I most like? Yes. Well, that would be one of my own, of course. <laughs> and that would be uh, Pornogothic, which is my newest. I like it the most because of the storyline. It was a very uh, demanding script, and uh, it required special makeup because I played a vampire. And it was also my most expensive uh, budget movie. So that was pretty exciting because we had a lot of different special effects and stuff that we were able to use because of that. Okay. We have a documentary about movies, mm -hmm. and uh, we let some actresses and actors play in front of us something. Mm -hmm. Maybe would you play for us something in front of us? Could I play something? Yeah. Like what? Like, uh, I mean, can you play, uh, I mean, can you assure you can have an orgasm? Can I pretend to have an orgasm? Well, anybody can pretend to have an orgasm. You just, ah, 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 ah. Was that easy enough? <laughs> and I think I got the attention of the entire cafe. <laughs> yeah. They liked it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, there is another thing. Do uh, you think film is it's important things in your life? Do you grow up with film in general? Or is film the most the important thing to me? No, more. Do you consider film mm -hmm. important to you? They help you to grow up or they do I feel that there's something in movies or film that adds to the culture? Yeah, I mean, I... Sure. I, I, I think that there's two things that films do. One is it captures or parallels what is currently going on. The second thing it does is it also expands possibilities in 
realisms um, so that it can open avenues of uh, um, imagination or um, thought processes that may have not occurred without them. You know, uh, like for instance, you go back to uh, black and white films, I don't remember the name of it, but there was one where they had uh, a rocket landing on the moon. <laughs> it was impossible. Who would ever think that could possibly, it was silly, but yet you start looking at that going, hmm, did people look at that and say, is that a possibility and then kind of stirred up the interest? You don't, chicken and the egg thing. So I think it kind of parallels both. Does that make sense? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, was that it? Yes, yes. I think so. Mm -hmm. Possibilities. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Yes. Do you have a card or anything like that?